Hey what's up YouTube, today we have some awesome news to discuss. Now it's been quite a while since the latest jailbreak update video with the release of the new jailbreak and all, we've already seen some major revisions and stability improvements, an official way to install the jailbreak utility directly on device, and even an Apple TV jailbreak. But even with all that, the Electra jailbreak team is back at it again, working on an updated package installer called Silo geared towards iOS 11, future-proofing jailbreaking, and replacing Cydia entirely. So before we begin, give this video a huge thumbs up if you appreciate all the work Coolstar and the Electra team has done thus far, and if you're excited for the new developments to come. So subscribe to the channel to stay on top of the latest breaking news released pertaining to Electra, top tweaks, and jailbreaking. Alright, so like I said in the intro of this video, we have a new package installer for iOS 11 jailbreaks on its way to potentially phase out Cydia entirely. Now it's being developed directly by the Electra jailbreak team and it's called silo now the first thing you may be wondering is why well the biggest reason is Cydia is becoming outdated and is no longer supported or updated by Soric for the Electra team to even get it to function properly on iOS 11 they had to do a ton of background work and patching to barely get the basics to work, and on top of that, things like Cydia purchases are not natively supported. New forms of payment, like what's going on with the Pack IX repo, are sluggish on it. The entire UI is very outdated, and overall, the entire package system needs to be revamped. Now, instead of trying to redo, implement, or slowly add support for all of these features slash changes to Cydia, the Electra team decided they would just start from the ground up, working on a new package installer to function with their Electra jailbreak. Now, before we get into the new package installer silo, I will say Cydia has definitely endured the tests of time. It still gets the job done, and in the past, we've seen it dethrone other package installers, such as Installer, and since its inception in the early days of jailbreaking, there have been many attempts at replacing it, but none that truly caught on. Now, with that being said, it has never been the case that the developer or developers of the jailbreak utility work directly on a new package installer. There have been no replacements implemented at a core level by the same group that releases the jailbreak utilities. It has always been a third party trying to remake Cydia, thus its compatibility and lack of updates are typically what have phased out old package installers. Now with Silo, on the other hand, the reasons for creating this replacement seem very valid. Sorik is no longer directly related to updating Cydia. In fact, the version of Cydia running on the Electra jailbreak, like I said, is a fork of it, pieced together by the Electra team for it to have the ability to run on iOS 11. In the end, that means that Soric is no longer involved with Cydia and its updates on the Electra jailbreak. All of that has been done thus far directly by the Electra team. So if they decide to replace it, it may actually catch on faster than other package installers have in the past. Now with that being said, the Electra team is going to have to do an absolutely phenomenal job with Silo for the community to respect and appreciate it entirely replacing Cydia. But if Silo can actually replace Cydia, this will be the end of an era for sure. Even Pwn to Own, one of the developers involved in the Electra jailbreak says yes, this is an end of an era, but the start of a new one. Alright, so let's get into talking about this new package installer. Now all this information comes directly from the members of the Electra jailbreak team and was discussed last night via Twitter. So what exactly is Silo? Coolstar says it was designed with modern iOS and modern 64-bit command line tools and libraries in mind. So basically it's just like Cydia with new updated dependencies running in the background. And again, continuing my earlier point of why there's a need for a change, Coolstar laughed at this remark saying Cydia works seamlessly. He says, no it doesn't. Check your Cydia app on iOS 11. It only works because it has band-aids, zip ties, and velcro applied to it. And below, he has a photo of the cydiafix.dylib file, meaning without this file, Cydia would not function on iOS 11 or on the Electra jailbreak. So instead of trying to patch together this extremely old and outdated package installer, the team started from the ground up, working directly on their own core dependencies, keeping the idea of future-proofing jailbreaking in mind. Pwn to Own continues the conversation, saying, here's some stuff that's recently been updated by the Electra team. They will finally be releasing their unjailbreak utility called Rolectra, which will entirely erase Cydia from your device. 
They will also be adding their iOS 11 repo called Telesforio that will comprise of Cydia's legacy repos but only contain packages that support iOS 11. And here at the top, these are the new things that the team has started from the ground up and have updated vastly to work with their new package installer. This includes Cydia Substrate, Substrate Safe Mode, Substitute, Tweak Injector, and Substrate Compatibility Layer. So right off the bat, we're already seeing major updates and new features that are going to be implemented with this new package installer, things that Cydia just cannot accomplish in its current state. So we're just going to start with a couple things. The first one being Rolectra to uninstall the jailbreak and uninstall Cydia. Ponto Own says, I'm currently waiting on the designer for Rolectra's UI. Once that's done, he will be releasing it to the public. He says, fun fact, Rolectra takes under a second to complete and erase the device. Along with that, another thing I wanted to talk about real fast is Coolstar says, safe mode and substitute will both be getting updates on Electra shortly. Substitute will be getting a long needed stability fix and that safe mode will be getting a very needed redesign. So those are just a couple things that are coming very soon. Now let's talk about compatibility with this new package installer. So the great thing is it sounds like this new package installer as well as the transition over to it is going to be pretty much seamless. Ponta Own says all of your old packages and your setups will stay when switching to silo. So that's great for transitioning to this new package installer. He also notes that City of Purchases will be accessible from Silo, something that is not natively supported even within City right now on iOS 11. So kind of going into a little bit of background, he says, no, we won't ditch the current ecosystem and the developers like AppTap and their installer 5. Silo will be completely compatible with every City of package and repository. All of the old default repositories will stay there with Silo, but they'll be stripped down to one repo that only displays the iOS 11 compatible packages. Again, we talked about this earlier that this new repo called Telesforio will be added to Silo once it's released to the public. So again, it sounds like this is just going to be a revamped version of Cydia. It doesn't sound like it's going to be changed too much. It sounds like there's going to be a new user interface that's going to be more modern and look nicer, but on top of that, this entire thing Thing will be built on a stable foundation, all of its core dependencies updated for future-proofing jailbreaking like I've kind of been talking about through this video. And this allows for a lot of new features that I feel like a lot of people are going to appreciate. Coolstar tweeted out this, when your package manager reloads data so quickly you won't even need a progress indicator for it. So that's one thing that's going to be awesome when you're reloading data, when you're refreshing sources or anything like that, that process is going to be much quicker, pretty much instantaneous as what it sounds like from this tweet. Also new forms of payment like what's going on with the PackIX repo. Andrew Wick tweeted out this saying PackIX already fully supports this replacement. You'll be able to see if a package is purchased right on the package page and there's not going to be any more Nash device linking workarounds as you'll see all of your purchases right in this replacement. All right, so I hope what we've talked about so far in this video explains to you guys what Silo is, why there's the need for change, some of the updates and improvements that will be coming with Silo and its compatibility with your devices. So one video that was leaked that I wanted to talk about is the user interface of Silo. Now, Coolstar has noted that this is just a temporary UI, but still, this is just a first look at what Silo is going to look like. And lastly, I wanted to leave you guys with some of the latest updates that have come out from Coolstar and Pwn to Own and the Electra Jailbreak team. Coolstar says, Cydia is no longer being maintained for iOS 11. We'll be transitioning everyone to a replacement very soon. Pwn to Own follows that up saying Silo will be bundled with the next versions of the Electra Jailbreak Toolkit. So it sounds like we might be seeing this sooner than we think. Again, bringing you guys back to the beginning of this video, Coolstar initially tweeted out saying Silo will only support iOS 11 and his iOS 11 Electra Jailbreaks as it's entirely built with iOS 11 and modern iOS 64-bit command line tools in mind. And very lastly, pretty much as recording this video, Pwn to Own tweeted out this. Oh, and guess what? Rolectra is done now. You can expect a release at any time. So that is going to be the very first step is uninstalling Cydia and getting your devices ready for this new package installer. Now, as some very breaking news, after recording this video, Pwn to Own tweeted out this saying, just to be clear, I took over Coolstar's semi-restore tool. 
Roll Extra is now being called Semi Restore 11, even though it has nothing to actually do with Semi Restore. Again, this tool is going to be used for a few things. It sounds like it's going to be used to remove Cydia, to unjailbreak your device entirely. It sounds like it's going to be used to fix your file system. And Pwn to Own may have a couple more things in mind, like restoring tweaks, but we'll have to wait and see on that feature. And very lastly, Pwn to Own says the initial release of Roll Extra slash Semi Restore 11 will only support iOS 11.3 to 11.4 Beta 3. All other versions will get support eventually after the initial release. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of this new package installer called Silo that the Electra Jailbreak team will be implementing soon. To me, it has a lot of potential to actually phase out Cydia. The new UI looks absolutely fantastic, but the underlying core dependencies will actually be updated to fully support iOS 11. Again, we have a great foundation that this is going to be built upon, so I can see it lasting quite a while. Along with all the new features, it includes legacy support, such as Cydia purchases, its repositories, and for how seamless the transition is going to be, with it keeping all your packages and settings in place, it really doesn't sound like that big of a hassle and that only good things can come from it. Now, it will be incredibly hard to give up and let go of Cydia, as this is what I and the rest of the jailbreak community has known and loved for the past decade since the infancy of jailbreaking. But in the end, the show must go on, and with this new wave of jailbreaking, it seems like the time has finally come to let go of the past and start looking towards the future of what jailbreaking could be. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're excited for these new developments and changes with the Electra Jailbreak, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and of course subscribe to stay updated on when these new changes are rolled out to the public. Again, thanks for watching guys, but until next time, this is Tony signing out.